welcome to Daytona Beach, Florida, home to America's premier muscle car showroom, Hankster's Hot Rods, where we own and house anywhere from 65 to 80 vehicles at any given time. If you are watching the vehicle we are about to present to you today on any other advertisement other than Hankster's uh, website, which is hanksters.com, please be sure to visit our website so you can determine whether th this is in fact a current vehicle that we have for sale. If you are watching this on YouTube, uh, on ClassicCars.com, on Hemmings, uh, this vehicle may no longer be uh, available for sale. We own all of our cars, so you're dealing directly with the seller. There are no third parties involved. We are not a consignment dealership. We welcome all of you to visit Hangster's Hot Rods to look at the vehicle you might be purchasing. We encourage all of our buyers to come in person. Uh, Daytona Beach is a, a great tourist destination. There's a lot to do here. Uh, it's, it's a fun two, three day trip, maybe even a week long trip. Uh, come check out your, our cars for yourself. Uh, check out underneath. We'll take it on a test drive. Have some fun. Hangsters.com. And uh, if you want to reach us by phone, it's 386-944-9219. Enjoy today's presentation. Okay, this is the uh, engine bay of a 1972 Corvette. Uh, obviously a red car, black convertible top, and it comes with a hard top also, which is painted red. Uh, the engine compartment houses its original numbers matching 350 Chevy engine and it's a standard motor, it is not a up horse motor, it's just a standard motor in it, correct dual snorkel air cleaner that goes with it, all the correct plug shielding also with it, the correct original um, tack drive distributor for our tack in the uh, dashboard, the correct style radiator hoses top and bottom clutch fan just the way it would be from the factory, the double pulley in the front, the way Corvettes came, aluminum radiator just also the way they came from the factory, our aluminum reservoir cooler tank on uh, that side where Devin is over there, um, windshield washer bottle still original and hooked up, our wiper vacuum uh, diaphragm nice and cadmium plated just the way they should be. You don't have to worry about power steering or power brakes because there isn't any. Um, but it does, however, have a newer dual-stage master cylinder in it. It does have a, uh, appears to be the original alternator yet. This, this car is an original 17,000-mile car. This is not a uh, BS car that's been uh, redone all over. It has been touched up in a few little spots just from stone chips, but that's it. What you're looking at here is uh, Corvette originality, 17,000 documented miles, and we'll get into that here in a minute. Um, you can see that nothing's ever, even the original... <laughs> Way back when, uh, oil change sticker with uh, Quaker State um, still underneath the hood. Everything in here is as it was in 1972 when it was released by General Motors. Cast iron intake manifold, cast iron exhaust manifolds, original quadrajet uh, style carburetor on it, Rochester. And uh, it's just an original, original Corvette in every aspect. So we're going to go around the rest of it and show you whatever we can. Okay, you're at Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida. And this presentation is of a 1972 Chevy Corvette, obviously red. Uh, this car is a 17,000 mile car, undisrupted in every way. Uh, the hood, look, the fitment of this hood cannot possibly get any better. And these early Corvettes, usually the hood fitment was horrible. This one is an exemplary fit and finish on it. The um, <clears throat> paint is 90% original on this car, just touched up a few little spots, like on the dog legs behind the doors, you know, where stones normally came up and chipped it. But other than that, you're looking at originality here. I should have pointed it out when the hood was open and we did the engine uh, presentation, but your diaphragms for the uh, vacuum actuated headlights are still nice and bright cadmium plated gold, just the way they were from the factory. And look at the fitment of the headlights, Ethan. You can see that this car has never had any type of uh, trauma subjected to it. Chrome on the bumper is still nice and original, just the way it was from GM. There's no cracks or marks in any of the uh, uh, cast windows in it. Uh, amber parking lights the way they should be. Corvette plate in the front here and it has a front spoiler that's not ripped up or torn either. A very, very nice uh, front end on this car, nice fist under the hood, nice original, original paint on this car, especially on the nose of it here. Uh, we just put a new set of BFG radials on it because the tires that were on it uh, from age turned to ceramic instead of rubber, and it was riding on, uh, it just felt like you were riding on, uh, on uh, ceramic plates. But look at the fitment, look at the uh, 
uh, vent here, the wiper door. Look at this, how everything fits together. And for a Corvette, this is really an anomaly. They just normally do not fit this well. This guy does. Uh, tinted glass in the front. There's no marks whatsoever on the top of the dashboard. VIN uh, number nice and legible on your pillar, your post here. Trim around the top here by the convertible top. Nice and fresh and clean looking. One mirror on it, that's all they came with. Um, tinted glass aside too, I'm going to call it tinted too, I don't know for sure, original door handle. Little tiny, tiny bit of patina there, but you can't see it. I doubt if you can even see it in any Devin's photos, but it's there. Uh, the wipes whiskers are the originals and they do not need replaced, nor does the convertible top. Little tiny bit of yellowing, not much, but a little tiny bit in the uh, convertible top. We just put this up so if you see a couple little wrinkles here or there, that's because we just put the top up for being down. We had the hard top on it. Look at the fitment here. Usually there's a huge overhang on these cars right here. This one does not possess that. Uh, really great fitment. And again, a brand new set of BFGs on the uh, correct style rally wheels. A few little tiny scratches here that are not going to come out, but uh, something you're going to have to live with. A couple little marks here which will come out from where the uh, hard top was installed. The correct uh, single mast antenna that this guy came with. Door alignment, everything on the side of this car is just spot on. It cannot get any better. It's a great looking car. You open the doors and you can see everything. This is not oversprayed in here. This is the original um, tag, which Devin's going to show you a real close up picture of. Uh, houses the uh, VIN number and your ID on it. Your trim tag is still intact and undisrupted. Look how clean inside the doors and the original rubbers are still resilient on this car. Very nice condition. Has the optional leather interior in it as opposed to uh, vinyl. Um, correct steering wheel for it. Uh, correct trim on the uh, uh, dashboard. Uh, four-speed car too. This is not an automatic car. This guy's got three pedals and it's a four-speed. Very, very desirable. There's no real wear. Eh, a little tiny bit of wear here off of the uh, black dye. There's not actual wear through the leather. It could be dusted with a, uh, a black dye and you'd never see it. The interior in this thing is exemplary as the rest of the car is. Door panels the same way. There's no cracks or marks or anything whatsoever in the molded door panels. Even the carpet below is nice and fresh and clean looking. All your uh, actuators, your, your window, your door openers, everything just as fresh as you'd hope to find. Really a nice car. This thing's got a lot of charisma to it. Um, Chrome on the back bumper, same as it was on the front. There's no scuffs or marks or, or anything whatsoever on a Corvette designation on the back. You can see your lenses are just crystal clear on it. Backup lights and the tail lights also. Uh, the big rectangular pipes out the back of the rear of the lance, just the way it should be from the factory. And uh, just a really nice, uh, really nice car. A little tiny bit of patina on this uh, cast piece of uh, pop metal that they use around a. Uh, a license plate. Well, I'm going to get something here, Devin. I'll get that. I'll show the documentation on the back of the car. I don't know where else to do it. Everybody always asks for documentation. Well, check this out. Um, it is a 17,000 mile car. It shows it on the title that we have for the car. But in addition to that, we have the original manuals that come with the car. Consumer's manual, the uh, safety manual, uh, the original manual that came with the car when it was uh, new also. Check this out. Registration showing you a previous owner's name. The protective plate also with the car. You have absolutely every piece of documentation that you want from originality and in addition to that you have the copy of the original title. I know it's here somewhere. There it is copy of the original title that was with this car and the original bill of sale that was with this car and then the second owner which apparently was still in the same family same last name um, in 04 this title so you got a total total documented documented uh, Corvette here uh, from day one clean up through uh, until we have it and it still shows 17,000 miles we're going to let all this stay here and just go around the rest of it for you Going down the passenger side, there's absolutely nothing to say on this car other than everything fits as it should. Look at this. This just is not normal for a Corvette to fit this way. It really isn't. Um, again, no marks on the top or anything. It's just starting to stretch back out from uh, being down all those years. But the uh, wipe whiskers on this side the same way, astroventilation designation. Again, look at this. 
Look at the fitment of this guy. You believe this? Stingray designation on the side. Normally these are all chipped off, you know, but again, being a low mile car and the originality that this guy has, uh, you're looking at uh, the way they are supposed to be. This is just highlighted chrome. The whole thing is chrome, but this paint usually chips off because it's tough for paint to stay on chrome. It's pretty tight uh, material. And we're back up where we started again. This thing is a 1972 Corvette convertible. Obviously, it's red, black top, black leather interior. It does have a hard top also with it. Um, the car is a documented car from day one, 17,000 miles at this point. We just put a new set of rubber on it because the other ones were worthless. Uh, just too hard. You'd never want to drive it the way it was. Uh, the engine is the original, correct engine drive line in this guy. Uh, it does not have power steering or power brakes. In this car, it's really not needed. You have four-wheel discs. It's more than ample stopping power. Power steering in a light car like this really doesn't add that much to it. Uh, it's a great car. It's 90% original paint on it. Uh, the car really presents itself as an original 1972 Corvette. And we'd love everybody to come down and look at this guy in person, but if you can't, that's why Devin's going to compile all this information that we're generating so that you can look at it on Hangster's website and make a decision on buying this. But if you're looking for a Corvette, there can't be too many out there that are documented like this guy in this color combination with three pedals. And um, it's just a fantastic car. Take a look at it, it's in Hangsters. And this is the uh, underside of our 1972 Corvette convertible. A red car, black in. And it's a real 17,000 mile documented car with all the paperwork and documentation that goes with it. And uh, I'm not going to tell you this has been changed, this has been changed, that's been changed, because nothing's been changed. There's no reason for it to have new shocks, they're just fine. The tires have been replaced, uh, we just put those on, there's, I don't know, five miles on them at this point. Uh, everything on the car is as it was in 1972. The engine is the original engine in the car yet, numbers matching, you can see that it's been just touched up a little bit paint-wise. It, it, um, the, the frame has absolutely, absolutely brand new, just the way it was from the factory when they splattered these things with as much paint as they possibly could at that point in time. And you see little droplets of paint hanging on the frame, you know, that's just the way they were. Uh, it still has the uh, heat deflector still intact on the front floor pans. And if you look at the floor pans, you can see the uh, original pans still have the uh, uh, fiberglass hairs installed the way they were from the factory. The original heat shield with the uh, aluminum uh, outer covering on it is still intact. It is an M22 rock crusher in this guy though. It is an M22 tranny in it. How about that? Conventional starter because it didn't need replaced either. Uh, there's, there's nothing on this car that needed to replace. It still has the original brake lines on it, uh, original fuel lines still intact on the car, the original parking brake, everything hooked up and functional at this point. And believe it or not, there are no leaks on this engine that I can see. Absolutely none. Uh, we just gave this thing a quick clean up and uh, everything under here is as it was when it was original. Hell, even the, uh, your, your safety wiring for your bracketry and everything for your uh, uh, seat belts because it ripped through there in an accident so they have a bunch of brackets and a cable going through the frame so that in the event that you were in an accident the seat belts don't rip through your fiberglass. That still has the original plating on it yet even. Um, again the uh, parking brakes hooked up and functional. Look at the frame on this guy. It's the original paint yet from, from 1972. Uh, everything on this thing is as it was then. There's nothing that's been disrupted in any way. Um, Tires and battery and fuel and oil. That's the only thing that I can tell you that's a little bit different on this car than it left the factory in 1972. The original spare is still housed in the uh, uh, well. and uh, It's just a brand new car. If you're in the market for a Corvette that's documented to the nth degree uh, and you're in the market for a great color combination and a convertible, then this is the guy you got to take a look at it because it's going to be a hard one to duplicate, especially with these miles of documentation. But it's here at Hangsters. And come down and take a look at it so we can take this thing for a ride and I can show you everything underneath, inside out, upside down so you know exactly what you're getting. Okay, 72 Corvette, 17,000 miles. We're going to see what works in this guy and what doesn't. Um, manual adjustable mirror, obviously. They didn't make remote back then. Horns working as it should. Uh, left turn signal beating itself to death over here. Let's try the right turn signal. Doing the same thing. So we got those two guys working. Let's try, you know what, let's try the headlights. You'll be able to see them open. Yep, 
pop right open, vacuum pots open them up just the way they should. And they close just like they should, real nice and crisp, just the way they ought to be. Okay, let's see if our wiper door opens and <clears throat> wiper does not come on. That little switch underneath there, when the wiper door opens, is supposed to actuate the wipers and it's not for some reason. So we're going to find out why and fix it for you. Jeff gave us about a quarter of a tank of gas. The uh, tachometer, which is tack drive, uh, is uh, gear driven from the distributor, is working as it should. Water temperature just starting to come up. Battery charging like it should. Oil pressure uh, holding nice and uh, 35. You give it a little gas, you're up to about 45 pounds. The clock is working in this guy. You believe that? Let's try the radio. Nice no chance in the world of a radio working. And it doesn't, but we don't do radios and we don't do clocks, so you got one out of two. Um, the uh, wheels that actuate your air, and these are vents here, and they also work. You can see they, they work real nice and smooth, just like they should. And this is temperature cold and hot, you can see it works the way it should. And the blower motor uh, for the uh, defrost is also working. All right, we're all set. No question, this thing's a 17,000 mile car. Steering is manual steering, not power, but look how precise this car is. I mean, it just, it tracks literally perfect. Shifts nice and smooth. The, the shifter is nice and tight, just the way it should be. Nice and taut shift pattern. And the car is just as straight and nice a running car as you will ever find. Let's try uh, brakes no hands, see what happens. Okay. You know, even with a nominal amount of horsepower, these cars were a lighter car, uh, somewhere around 3,200 pounds, and um, a lot of torque in the 350 Chevy, and. Uh, even though they gave up some horsepower in these later years, they still were more than adequate with a standard engine, 350 horse, or 350 uh, uh, standard motor in it. We'll turn this guy around and give it a little shot so you can hear what it sounds like. Nice tight shifter in it, really nice and tight. We good? some work up here that was about 70 we're coming down off of that now but uh, you gotta slow down hey. nice running car very smooth nice shifting nice pull to it the speedometer as Devin was showing you is nice and uh, steady it's not jumping around anywhere the same with the tack uh, you can see they're both very very nice and stable nice car uh, everything coming up the way it should temperature up uh, I don't know, about 180 degrees, I'd say, just to where it should be. This is a nice Corvette. It's a real documented 17,000 mile car, and um, it'd be very hard to duplicate this thing just because of the documentation and the certified miles. And it's a, a, a great car and a great color combination with both tops in a three pedal car. And I don't know how much better it can get for a Corvette. So if you're in the market for one, this one's at Hangsters, and I don't know how long it'll be here, but it's a very nice car. Very nice.